So we are now in another edition of Sports Corner PH Interviews. And for this episode, let's focus our attention into the sport of short track speed skating. At kung short track ang pag-uusapan, isa sa mga pamilya names ang ating Phil Am na kasama natin ngayon from UCLA, which is among the four Pinoy vets that have competed in the recent Winter World University Games. And we will give also his reaction on the recent... Uh, um a uh, recent entry of Peter Gross close to the 2024 Winter World University Games after gaining a spot after his sensational performance at the uh, Junior Worlds let us welcome to our show for the first time Mr. Julian Makaraega Julian it's nice to see you and good evening then thank you thank you for having me thanks for the invite Una sa lahat, eh. thank you again for joining us in this episode. Pero kamusta na po kayo? How things going on on your end when it comes in both studies and your training? And how's the situation there in California? Yeah, so um, California, it's really different from New York because New York, I was able to train pretty often. I was able to train maybe three times a week. But here in California, there's very limited ice. So I was not really able to practice as much as I wanted to. And fortunately enough, there's an ice rink above, uh, near me, 45 minutes away. But it's still quite a drive, but I still try to make it at least once a week or once every other week. So that was pretty much my preparation during the my last competition, the Fizu Games. So I was training here about once a week. And then two weeks prior to the competition, I, I went back to New York to train full time. And yeah, it's... A balance in training and school, it's been quite hard because here I'm obviously here for the education. So, um, yeah, school is my number one priority right now. So, um, yeah, I got to take that into account. And, yeah, classes have been pretty successful, and I'm very happy that I'm here studying in UCLA. Okay, our guest, Julian, is actually our former Winter Youth Olympian for, uh, let me correct, two times already. Uh, yeah, I competed in the 2020 Winter Youth Olympic Games, and then I competed in the 2022 Beijing Olympic qualifiers uh, last year. Okay, and we can see in every tournament, uh, Julian, uh, depending on the adjustments of the weather and your training conditions, you have some significant uh, developments into your training while also taking up your studies, which is, of course, your first priority. So first, how's your training right now? as you have entering the 2023 season, although you have finished one tournament, which is the Winter World University Games. And this is actually your first appearance there. Yeah, yeah. Um, so like I said earlier, I'm focusing on school right now. So I, I haven't been really training regularly at the moment. Um, now that the games are finished, all, I, all the World Cups that I've done last year are now completed. Um, this season and probably the next season, I'm just going to lay low for now and uh, uh, focus on my academics. And then I know that the next following Olympic Games will be in 2026. And that would actually be my senior year of college. So that's going to be in three years from now. So that's still a long time. It's, it's still a long time ahead. So I have time to um, decide on um, my future right now but yeah as of right now I'm still um, focusing on school and hopefully in the next year or so I'll start um, coming back to training meaning to say this is the Winter World University Games is your final tournament of let's say 2022 to 2023 season and uh, you are looking now at uh, performing at the very best for the 2023 to 2024 season which is uh, gotta be start uh, around the bell months, so September up to, uh, until January. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, so the Fizu the Fizu Games was the actual only competition that I had this season, and that would be my last competition, first and last competition for this season. Um, as I'm focusing on school, um, but for the next upcoming season, um, I'm still deciding, um, whether I'll be competing next season. Um, but yeah, I, I'm just going to try to finish up this school year first, and then I'm going to give my decision if I'm going to be competing in the world cup next season. 
while training uh for the piso games did you take up the advices of your coaches to further improve your speed your skills abilities and capabilities when it comes to training to be at par with your possible competitors back in uh, lake placid yeah my coaches have been um giving me advice um throughout training because here in um california i don't really have um uh a primary coach here um there is a coach in this club that i compete i mean that i train at however that's not my main coach my main coach is in in new york city but he gives me like drills to do online we do some exercises he sends me some programs that would try to help me keep me in shape but this season was primarily not to not to um let's say exceed my exceed my results from last season but in, rather instead of rather me trying to maintain the shape that I am in because of the lack of ice time cuz with the lack of ice time there's there's really so much that you can do to improve your your condition so the what we, my coach and I tried our best to um maintain my condition and try to remain in competing form and competing shape so um yeah what are the characteristics and impact that you look up to every time you have trained and, of course, keeping up in shape? And how do you overcome all the challenges physically and mentally ready in between? Um, yeah, I, I was, um, as I was training, I was thinking about um, my future competitions. But back in the back of my mind, I'm thinking like, oh, my last competition was almost nearly a year ago so that was quite a long time so i'm still i was as i was training for this fizu games uh training has been pretty rusty it was a really uh bumpy road to get back in shape but i was able to um thankfully i was able to get back in shape and be able to compete with these um, competitors that have been training all year round non-stop and i'm really fortunate enough that i was able to still give them a good competition, even though that I was only able to train for about three weeks prior to the competition full time. So given that short amount, I'm relatively happy about my results. Okay, so aside from training, you're also taking up studies in UCLA, which is on your freshman year or first year in college. I think your VS uh, Business Management is your course right now. Uh, right now, my course is business economics. Okay, yeah. so business economics. So it's pretty much related to the business management and, of course, the economic terms. So what are your dreams, dream job that you want to take up to once that you have been graduated in UCLA? Um, so I'm still deciding what my future career would be like um, because right now my, my declared major is business economics. But I may or may not switch to something else because in the, um, I'm also thinking about um going towards the dentistry path into becoming a dentist. Um, however, I know that that um that path to dentistry is quite long. You have to go through med school and stuff. So I'm I'm still deciding whether or not if I I'm able to, um, continue that, um, as a career. But if I were to go towards business economics, then I would say something related to stocks um stock um analysis or accounting some something around that field so hoping that uh, you want to make a, a great decision to have a staple job outside of your athletic career last january uh julian you were among the members of the philippine team along with misha pabiat and the two alpine skiers and ted sunshine and uh, brandon leitner that have uh, participated in the Winter World University Games. And we have to thank PESAP for their efforts, uh, for their efforts to have a uh, uh, strong delegation that have been competed in the Winter World University Games in Lake Placid. And this is actually your first time in your uh, collegiate level that you have been competed in a uh, competition. I hope this won't be the last time that you will see you in the Winter World University Games. I was in transition from the juniors level now taking up a new ex experience in the collegiate level and of course uh, with uh, the new transit with the, the with the switch 
to a new division that comes a new stiff competition from the other skaters at your level. Mm -hmm. Um, so the competition, I'm very thankful that I was able to compete in this new games. This is my first ever Fizu games, and I hope this won't be my last. And yeah, it was such a great experience. I met so many different people from around the world, just like World Cups and going to Winter Youth Olympics and all those international competitions. It's quite similar to that on that aspect. Um, regarding the competition, regarding the competition, the skaters that I've competed with were the same ones that I've skated with in World Cups and in Junior Worlds. So uh, basically, the competition was pretty much the same. So I, I had a good feel on the competitors and the environment. So it wasn't much of a shock for me as um, I was already sort of used to this because um, it's, like I said before, it's very similar to Junior Worlds, World Championships, and World Cups. Yeah. And of course, can you give us your assessment on how do you perform at the Winter World University Games? Uh, what are your placings in the 500, 1,000, and 1,500 meters? Uh, one five k meters. It seems you have missed the podium. Uh, for most of the times you have been competed, and the highest finish is actually qualified for the quarterfinals. But of course, you fell short on uh making it into the next rounds. Can we give us your assessment and your placings from that meet? Yeah, of course. Um, so like I said earlier, I wasn't expecting much from this competition as I haven't been competing, um, or training as much. So um. I wasn't expecting anything. I wasn't expecting to be on the podium, but I was just hoping that I would still my the condition that I was in would still be in the um uh in racing form and like uh racing shape that I'd still be I would still be oh, sorry, I messed up my words. Sorry, that I would still be able to give them a good fight during the competition. Um for the 500 meter I actually exceeded my expectations in that. I um I did surprisingly well from um what I initially expected. Um I was able to move on to the quarterfinal. Um I was feeling pretty confident in the 500 actually. However, on the last um lap of the quarterfinal, I fell on one of the turns and that cost me um the chance to advance to the next round um but i'm not too stressed out about that uh it happens uh falling is part of the sport um but i'm super glad that i was able to still make it through to the next round and regarding the 1000 meter um because my stamina is not quite as good as last year um i wasn't expecting much as well on the thousand as I was primarily focusing on the 500. But for the 1,000, uh, I gave it my all. I tried to finish it, finish the race strong. Um, however, um, I was penalized, or not penalized. Um, me and another skater had a, a shared penalty, which um, removed us from that race. Um, so my, my 1,000 meter... Um, event was cut short, unfortunately. But yeah, like I said before, penalties and falls happen. So um, no hard feelings about that. And of course, uh, despite the circumstances along the way in the competition, especially you got the penalty, how do you see this opportunity to give the best shot, although you have managed to fail in the uh, competition in the Winter World University Games, to pour the sharp pen? your performance in the upcoming meets. And of course, you have dreamed uh, to become uh, a 2026 Winter Olympian. It's still alive. Yeah. Um, so what I've learned from this competition, um, like I said, I've been through these types of situations before. And some of these situations are unavoidable. And... Um, yeah, during training, my coach and I try to sharpen those skills, try to polish them, and try not to make the same mistakes through drills and through off ice training. Uh, regarding like speed and stamina, that's all. That's all. Um, 
based on how hard you train and how good how well the program is um suited for you and um yeah based on this competition i know where i'm standing um even though i haven't been really um competing or training i'd say i still did relatively well um based on my performance and yeah uh looking forward to the 2026 olympic games that's still in three years so there's still a lot of time to polish those errors and um uh be in top shape uh uh top shape for the games and have better um have a better condition compared to my previous seasons right now we have uh, another up and coming winter youth olympiad that's another topic right now that we will discuss uh, winter youth olympiad coming up in 2024 in the name of peter goes close Tell us your thoughts on how do you help or discover Peter that he could be a potential star in short track speed skating. And look at him right now. He was qualified after that stellar performance in the junior worlds and looking to have a great performance and uh, a uh, run in the 2024 Winter U Olympics. How do you discover Peter? Yeah, uh, first and foremost, I just want to congratulate Peter on his performance and the junior world championships he did really great and he did an, an outstanding job on that on his end and yeah um this new stuff for peter is going to be really big and i'm hoping that he will be able to um give uh put on a good show a good fight during these next um uh competitions and the upcoming youth olympic games and i've known peter actually for quite a couple years now um i've trained with him um, I actually trained with him uh, two weeks prior before the Fizu Games, and I'd say that he's in pretty good shape for the upcoming Youth Olympic Games. And um, yeah, he's a he's a strong skater. Uh, he's very young, so he has um, these next competitions will allow him to get a feel of uh, the World Cup or give a, get a feel of this um, at a professional level. And yeah, I'm hoping that he'll learn some new things and gain some experience that's so that he can apply to his uh, next future competitions. Okay, with him qualified for 2024, are you looking forward to see him in action and to achieve better results and the great training and the support that uh, given by the Philippine Skating Union? And what is your message or advice for Peter as he prepares for a long uh, preparations and of course uh, building up for the 2024 Winter Youth Olympic Games which is of course uh, primarily he would be competing in uh, many more World Cups mm -hmm. yeah so um, Peter is training in uh, Virginia with a very strong team he has, a, he has two very good coaches who've coached me also Simon Cho and Jimmy Jang um, yeah they'll definitely put him in shape um youth olympics is still quite a long time from now so that's plenty of time to prepare and because of his training in virginia i'm hoping that he'll be able to to get a medal at the youth olympics because um nothing's impossible uh it's definitely possible for peter to uh get a podium during those games and yeah, uh, I, I'm hoping that Peter will continue doing this sport even after Youth Olympic Games because he's still a young athlete. Um, he has many, he has such a big potential for short track and for the Philippine Skating Union. And yeah, uh, Peter should, I'm hoping Peter would just give it his all. And um, I'm excited to see him in the next upcoming season. Okay, uh, Julian, uh... On the upcoming semester break, are you having plans to go back to the Philippines to train at our own facilities there? Yeah, so my family and I are planning to go to the Philippines this summer uh, for probably three weeks. During that time, I am uh, I was given the opportunity to host a, a speed skating training camp there in uh, SM Mega Mall. So that would probably be like a week and a half Um extensive training uh for the team and um yeah it would be a great opportunity for uh the skaters back at home and um yeah i'm very excited to be coaching them and 
um, it'll be it'll be really fun. Uh, a great experience for me too as well. Uh, to be coaching, um, these new upcoming skaters. All right, my last question before we wrap up. What can you say that from one athlete in Misha in 2019 and now the delegation has four athletes that have joined you, uh, Brandon, and Ted. This is somewhat a great development for Philippine winter sports overall to see the uh, student athletes locally and overseas space to be excellent, and to be on par with the world's best despite being in a tropical country and several athletes who are based in the winter countries. Of course, yeah. I want to give a special thanks to Misha for being the first person to compete in the FISU Games. Uh, she was the first and only person in the 2019 FISU Games. And now here in 2023, uh, we have four athletes that are competing at this level. And within those uh, two FISU Games, our team has doubled. And hopefully in the next one, there'll be more athletes that will be competing, not only in figure skating, speed skating, and in, in alpine skiing, but in alpine ski, but in other sports as well. And um, this co just comes to show that anything is possible for uh, athletes in the Philippines and fellow Filipino athletes uh, around the world to be able to represent the uh, Philippines in this collegiate level and these international competitions. And yeah, I'm very proud to be representing Philippines in these games. And I just want to show everyone that if I can do it, then everyone else can. And uh, it's definitely uh a great shot to take this opportunity to take up a sport a winter sport and uh focus on excelling at it and competing at a high level by the way uh, misha is actually playing on the final year since uh he has uh, already exceeded her age limits and of course uh, we wish misha uh, good luck in your future on uh, his uh, previous skating career. And of course, you. It has been a pleasure to talk to you. Before we uh, wrap up, let us do our photo op. So, thumbs up po tayo. And, yes. All right. Sure. One, two, three. Okay, uh, Julian, as we end this interview, can we give us a special shout out and thank you message to all those who have believed in you, supported in you, and of course, the organizations involved we're extending their appreciation to you in your career. Go ahead. Uh, thank you for everyone for supporting me throughout my skating journey. Um, this will definitely not be the end of my skating career, but I am just taking a short hiatus just to focus on my schooling. And I just want to thank everyone for supporting me all the way, supporting me from the beginning until now. And hopefully I can still get your support in my next upcoming games. And yeah, thank you for watching my competitions. And you guys have played a, a great impact on my performance because knowing that you guys have my back and knowing that you guys are watching me from far away, it, it really gives me a lot of joy and happiness um, when I'm competing. So thank you for that. And I appreciate it. Thank you so much, everyone. And again, uh, bro, thank you so much for joining us in this interview. And we look forward to see you again. To catch up with you after your uh, short hiatus. Uh, of course, you have uh, focused more on sa inyong pag or your studies. Continue to make the country proud and, of course, showcase your impressive skills in short track speed skating. And, of course, keeping your importance and balancing your studies and, of course, training for your upcoming competition. So, we'll see you again and uh, good luck the rest on the rest of the competitions. And your 2023 2024 season, Julian. All the best and thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Paul.